What's interesting, and I had many people disagree with me on that, there's not a direct relationship of leadership to profitability. And I always add, but there is a there's nothing in the research that would show you that leadership directly affects profitability. It's what the leaders do that very much affect profitability. They affect teams and groups of people they put together. And then those teams serve as your customers and your clients, and then you make money. So let's look at this. I described this as mostly uh, uh, organic growth. In uh, private equity, might disagree with this because there's a historical pattern of uh, buying th things, fixing them up, uh, selling them, etc. It's a quick turnaround. There's no effort to grow. But to grow an organization, you have to go through some mandatory sequential steps to, to create a kind of. Uh, Bob Hogan, who I have the most respect for, I think he's the world's leading researcher in leadership assessment, says that leadership is about followers and leaders should be assessed and evaluated by their building and maintaining a high performing team. The capability of unit and team leaders, the most significant predictor of workforce engagement, which we're all after. Most organizations are after leadership after workforce engagement and want a committed workforce. But if you look at this formula, it says that you're not going to get that unless you've got the right leaders. You might get a by having bringing in a new effort, etc. And you'll jack up the uh, engagement scores a bit or put in foosballs or whatever it is. But you've got to have leaders at the central part of your organization to move anything. If in fact you have that engaged workforce, uh, there's longitudinal research by Jim Skinner and a lot of people at Harvard over 40 years, says that customer loyalty and retention consistently has proven to be the key differentiator between uh, high performing, high and average performers in terms of profitability. It's the most significant engagement and retention of customers is the most significant predictor of money. And that's the organization getting profit, et cetera. So my point about this is that you have to have the leadership at the bottom. Other thing that's interesting is that sequential steps are essential, but Gallup, and the second step comes from Gallup. And incidentally, they've written a great book called It's the Manager. Their longitudinal 40 years of research. It's well worth your time to pick up. It's the Manager. It's a great book. But they're suggesting that the magic happens at the intersections. And the intersections are what happens with leaders forming those teams, and what happens with teams serving those customers.